Africa, who has certainly adapted to this new lifestyle, is Northeast disc jockey and entertainer Patrick White, otherwise known as Patrice. Well, the weekend starts on a, a Friday night for me. Uh, we usually do gigs for Saturday Lion, the comedy team, out and about Aberdeen, the Northeast. And then on a Saturday morning, we do the, the show, the Saturday Lion show. Well, you on air in uh, 10 minutes? Yeah. Well, and Paddy's in Ireland uh, this weekend, so we'll be talking to him as well. And uh, we've got he's uh, phoning in. wonderful Hollywood gossip columnist, Awood. Yeah, he's coming he in as well. In every week. So it's all happening. Listen, walk this way. We normally come walking in about 30 seconds to go before the show and say who's making the coffee. We'll say what's happening today, boys. Uh, so we'll get to kick off with the second show in January. It's all handwritten, you know, just um, like Buff Hardy, you know, it's amazing. In my best joined up writing. <laughs> As you can see, Matt, has he got the leave? <laughs> As any comedian will tell you, most uh, jokes are old jokes uh, with a different slant. Uh, I, I can, you can look up books and, and get material from books, but change the storyline into that local feel I was speaking about, and then the punchline's always the same. Hey, listen, I'm sitting on a Benahy bus mm -hmm. behind this lassie hudna a baron, mm -hmm. and the conductor comes up for the fares. He says, Madam, that is the ugliest baron I've ever seen. Well, the lassie bust into tears, and an old wifey sat beside her to comfort her. She said, Fitz and me are dear. The lassie says, it's that conductor. He said something really cruel. The woman says, well, dinner, you put up with that. Go up there and give him a piece of your mind. Mm -hmm. And I'll hug your monkey. <laughs> Whenever I put on the hat, then I just change completely and act like Patrice. Does that look all right, Joe? Look I feel more confident presenting jokes as Patrice. Perhaps it's the disguise, you know, the hat and the makeup and everything. On Monday, I lost my dog, Fluffy. He ran away. And Nigel, my best friend and flatmate, he says, Patrice, you've tried everything, but you haven't tried one thing. Why have you not put an ad in the paper? I says, don't be silly, Nigel. Fluffy can't read. I just go out there and, and work Friday, Saturday, Sunday, as if it's any normal day of the week. I think we're all conditioned into thinking that Saturday and Sunday should be the days that we do nothing. It doesn't bother me working Sunday and Saturday and Sunday, as long as I'm getting the right money for it. Sentiments, exactly. And we'll continue that series of weekend work next week.